This is Marcus Kovlava with the uh, MMA Nut, and we're here in Las Vegas with Brad Tavares. How are you, sir? I'm good, very good. What's up, guys? You were here at the UFC Fan Expo doing some signings today, right? What, what's the company? Uh, I was signing today for a company, new company called Cauliflower Culture. Uh, pretty good concept, you know, uh, not just fighting or not just jiu-jitsu. Everybody with cauliflower, wrestlers, jiu-jitsu uh, jiu players, fighters, MMA fighters, even boxers have cauliflower. <laughs> so I, I like it, you know, and uh, pick up my shirt if you guys are here at the Expo. The Brad Tavares shirt from Cauliflower Culture, you know, I like it. Hope you like it. Today's Saturday, you're going to be here tomorrow as well, Zaini? Um, I'm going to stop by tomorrow, probably just check some stuff out, you know, uh, some boots. Maybe I can get some free gear or something. But uh, no, I won't be signing tomorrow, just chilling. Congratulations. Thank you. Um, you. You had a tough cut in your last fight. After, before that, you were on a long winning streak. Uh, do you have anything set up, any news, anything going on? Yeah, I'm actually fighting August 16th, uh, Tim Boach in Bangor, Maine. It's a UFC fight night. I think it's 47 or so. But uh, August 16th, Bangor, Maine, check it out. So you're back in fight camp again? Yes, I am back at it, you know, grinding two, two a days every day. Uh, tomorrow is a rest day for me, but uh, I love it. This is, you know, this is my career. I love doing this. And uh, being from Hawaii, being here in Vegas, do you like Vegas? I actually do like Vegas. You know, it's, it's really cheap. A uh, lot of local people out there, so I never really do feel far from home. Um, nothing can really quite, to me anyway, can really quite compare to Hawaii. But uh, you know, this is uh, for me to to find the training I need. This is a this is a close second to be out here. Uh, just one of my besides fighting, one of my favorite hobbies, one of my loves and passions is to go spear fishing. And I just found out that you can spear fish out here in Vegas in the lakes and in the rivers. And I went, I actually went out last week uh, Sunday, and I'm gonna do it again tomorrow. You train an extreme as well with Mike Powell and so on. Do you know that Mike Powell is a big fisherman as well? Yeah, I spoke to Mike. Mike is actually now at Syndicate, but uh, yeah, when I found out you could uh, spearfish out here, I, I hit him up immediately because I know he goes fishing, and he actually told me that, yeah, he, he knew about it, and he actually has a spear gun and stuff, so I'm sure at some point uh, in the near future, he and I will get out there together. Now, Andrea Spong, Chris Spong, Swedish guys that you've been training with for a long time, uh, uh, Kips, right? Um, they, uh, Chris... Focus on boxing right now, but Andreas Spong has been having difficulty getting fights. You train a spot with Andreas. Uh, how, what do you think is next for Andreas? Uh, you know, ho hopefully something good. I, I really feel bad for a guy. I love Andreas Spang. You know, he, he's a real good dude, tough dude. Uh, he's fighting at 205 now, which I think he feels a lot more comfortable there as far as the weight, nutrition, the diet, and all that goes. So uh, hopefully, you know, he, he can get an opponent locked in. I know he's had some hard hardship in the past, maybe the past year or so. Everybody keeps getting injured, hurt, falling out of the fight last minute, and he can't get a fight. But, you know, he's been training hard. Uh, one of my top training partners out here for sure. So, uh, you know, I, I hope, I, I know it will come. Uh, he'll get an opponent locked in, and he'll be able to go on a run, get a streak, maybe get into WSOF. Or uh, back to Bellator now that they're not doing the tournaments, or they say they're not going to do it, and you know eventually parlay that into the UFC because I know he can be there. He's talented enough to be there, and uh, you know it's just one of those things. Uh, it's unfortunate. Nothing he can do about it. Opponents keep getting hurt and falling out. It's just it sucks. Do you think they might be ducking him, knowing how hard he punches? You know it, it could be it, it could be that. Um, it, it's crazy how many times it's happened. I think it's happened three or four times over the past like six months or so. So it, it, it's it's one coincidence is one thing, but I don't know. Maybe they bit off more than they can chew. But you know, hopefully he'll get a tough or not a tough opponent, but he'll get somebody that's willing to step in there and bang it out with him, and he can put on a show for everybody. Yeah, I agree. Andreas Spong is a very talented fighter. I'm hoping to see him back on the main uh, on, on the main circuit soon again. And two or five, I think it's good for him because he does have a weight problem. He's a little bit fat. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you very much. Looking forward to seeing you in August again. Yeah, thank you guys. Thank you. Aloha.